Hi, um, I was asked this week whether I'd do a video on traits of Filipinos, uh, well, Filipinas, since most of you guys are looking for partners. Um, now, the reason this was brought about is the fact is a lot of the problems that people face are based on something like um, people like myself would spot 99% of the time before they even happened. Uh, there's certain things people do, there's certain things that people say, um, body language, etc. That over time you develop while being in the Philippines. And you sort of expect certain things to happen as you go along. It's not a case of, well, everything's great. You know, you a lot of you guys are here because a lot of people do say everything's great because they never tell you about their, their bad sides and the problems they have when they're in the Philippines. They don't like talking about it. Um, for whatever reason but first one is if you're dating somebody online and they disappear for a few weeks just no contact they've just gone then suddenly come back with the excuse um, the dog died or whatever doesn't matter what the excuse is nine times out of ten it's very likely they have another boyfriend um, and they visited. Basically, they just dropped everything for the guy that arrived. Um, while, and while they're on holiday, they're with that guy for the full two weeks. That's very common. Um, next one is um, they're not online when they should be, or they seem to make up very bad excuses. Um, had this recently where somebody said, oh, there's no webcams in our area. There's no internet cams. There's webcams and internet cafes everywhere. Even the most remote locations have internet for some bizarre reason. Um, because at the end of the day, the internet and the foreigner are the cash cow for the country in many ways. There's so many women looking for guys out there. It's uh, an entire industry on its own. So there's always internet. And you might get somebody that's right out in the boondock somewhere. But I've been to internet cafes, which are literally in nipper huts, little wooden huts. Um, and they still have access to them because the fact is they must have had access to create their profile and for you to meet in the first place. They're not going to do that with some something that, that, that's uh, three days right away. Also, if they're that far out, their education level is normally not great. Uh, but the point is if they're disappearing is chatting to other guys online. Um, they already have a husband or a partner, kids, family stuff getting in the way of communication. This is why they'll drop the webcam, because the webcam, they can have a kid on their knee, they can have kids wandering around, they can have the husband sitting having dinner behind you, uh, uh, behind them, because you can't actually see them and they're just sitting there chatting away. Um, and I've got to be got to be aware. A lot of their husbands and partners are aware this goes on. Um, that guy recently, a uh, guy that asked for some help recently about a girl in Minglanilia. Um, the boyfriend's been going out with a woman since 2007, I believe. Was it? No, sorry. So yeah, it was 2007. It was seven years of relationship anyway. So. The fact is, the guy must have known it was going on. He must wonder where his missus is every night because she's off at the internet cafe. But she was she was the typical one of, you know, webcams, difficult to get to the internet cafe. Or an excuse because she's got her life going on around her and she's trying to conceal it. Um, the other one is kids. Now, the amount of times this has come up, and I, I don't even know how people get away with it sometimes. Because even when the guy visits, um, there's kids around. And they'll be saying, it's his sisters, it's this, da da da. And they actually conceal having children. Um, and I don't know how to combat that one, um, except by getting to know the, the locals. Because the locals are pretty good at telling you things. Because they, uh, <laughs> they love sharing information. There's. Um, Crab mentality is what the the phrase is generally, um, where people like to pull other people down, but in some cases they just like to share gossip. So if they know that you don't know, they might actually tell you just for the sake of it, um, not because they've got some moral conscience, 
but they'll know I'll actually destroy the relationship. <laughs> so that sort of thing does go on. Now, that's some things to look for on online dating. The other thing is, Filipinas recognize Filipinas. They're, there's a caste system, whether people like it or not, it exists. Um, and it's all status. Um, it's not based on family names or whatever the way uh, India is and Pakistan. It's based on where people live. Um, yeah, it's basically where they live. I mean, that, that's the most de defining thing. But you'll find like the poor um, women will generally look up to those that are educated. Um, now, the poor ones I often see are from the bar locations where, because people like my wife and other people that are actually uh, genuine normal people uh, from a normal family environment, uh, they work for a living, etc., don't like mixing with uh, those types of girls. So, what you'll find is very easy to spot somebody that is from that type of environment um, because other people don't want to sit with them. Um, I can't really complain about that because at the end of the day you, you're tarring everybody you're with with the same brush whether you like it or not. People don't like to be uh, associated with the um, prostitution in the Philippines um, when they're nothing to do with it. As simple as that. That's why I get a lot of grief off people because I I do not agree with it. I don't have anything to do with it. No connection, and I really do not want it around me. Um, I have a family environment, got kids. I don't need um, things dragging down to that level. So I, for one, don't like mixing with uh, guys with the girls from that uh, environment, and we don't mix with them. Simple as that. Uh, but that's one of the things you can spot because the reason if this actually occurs is you might not be aware of it if you're if you're new to the environment you might not be aware that your loving partner um is working at night um when you're back in your home country she's busy selling her commodities um and it's not the first time i've seen it and it's not um it's not unusual for that type of girl to have four or five guys on the go because they know they're coming and going at different times. They can benefit in so many ways financially um, that that's the way they are. Now, if you've got a normal woman, a uh, working woman, and she's got her job that she uh, does normally, you know, like, Maybe she works in a factory, maybe she's a nurse, maybe whatever it is. You'll find that they already have ingrained in them some morals. They got uh, a respect for money because they know how hard it is for them to earn it. But educating them on the fact that you still have to work for your money, it doesn't make it any easier to receive or, you know, you still got a bit of a financial education to do with it because they do think everybody's rich. Um, but you'll find those women are a harder uh, meet because they do work and they're at a uh, normal job. Um, a lot of the time they're not looking for guys. Um, they've had hard luck life stories with the guys that they've been with in the Philippines. Um, they may already have a child that's back in the province with the parents while they're working to fund keeping their lives going. But those women are very genuine um, because uh, things have been pretty hard for them. The next ones are, what would I call them? Black widows, I suppose. <laughs> they're the ones you see with the fake Prada handbags, talk about their husband's car as a second-hand old banger, you know, you know, I've got a Pajero myself, but they make it as a big status symbol, and everything they've got is about status. Those women would sell their soul for a guy that's actually better off than the guy they're with. At the same time, when they, if you are that guy, 
you're also in the firing line to be replaced as well. They are 110% out for themselves. The funniest one um, I know about was a Japanese guy came to the Philippines, uh, was marrying this girl. She had a lot of land, uh, it's about a million pesos worth of land put in her, in her name, the guy paid for, and then she dumped him. Um, the guy wanted the land back, no hope, she'd already sold it. But um, even with that, that million pesos, which is quite a lot in the Philippines, wouldn't last her six months because the, the whole thing is um, looking better than they are. Just look at the car.